But today, we're going to be looking at a, uh, a, a boxed game that I got, but it's also the reason I buy these box games from Warlord is because they got lovely figures in it that you can't get elsewhere. And this one, and the cool camera back, is 2000 AD's um, Slain, but I think it's now pronounced Shlornia, which is like the Irish Celtic way of pronouncing it. It's, there's been so much controversy over the years as to how all this is pronounced. Um, I'm just going to call him Slain throughout because um, it's just easier and I'll forget. So this is the Kiss My Axe starter set and it comes with some uh, really nice artwork on the box. Uh, I always like the, the comic strip but he was very good for him. Uh, and basically he was a, um, <clears throat> I won't go into too much detail of the history of him, but he was a uh, Celtic warrior. I've got my camera back in, so it's uh, hard to handle. Um, he was Celtic warrior, he was a berserker, and he also uh, was able to do what they call warp spasming, um, which was basically, he would use uh, sort of uh, supernatural abilities through warp stones, etc., to turn himself into a big old monster. Um, and the artwork was always great. I loved, uh, I think it was Kevin O'Neill's run on this, which was just wonderful. So box-wise, you've got some really nice graphics that shows you some of the figures you get. It's very heavy. Uh, you've got the, the write-up, and it shows you the, the rest of the figures. And then on the back, it tells you what you get. Um, almost every one I've ever seen of these are broken on, they rip through here. Uh, and I'll show you the reasoning why for that. This was a brand new sealed one. They were all like this. But I'll show you the reasoning once we open it. Um, so you get a nice range of figures. You get some scenery. You get counters, rule books, etc. Um, and then uh, it tells you in here what you get. Quite a bit of stuff. So let's open it up. And have a look. Um, nothing inside. Uh, the... Artwork on the side is repeated on the side of the internal box, which I think is a nice touch. So, this is the reason all the boxes are damaged. So, you get a resin, weird stone, warp stone. Um, and if we open that up, that's why it's a massive old resin uh, religious stone. Uh, and because it's thicker than the box, when it's on the books, it does rip through the box every single time. Um, if you've got one that's not ripped, you're doing well. Uh, so you get that. Let's, if you look at the, we'll come back to the figures because that's the main thing. You get the, the normal stands. So you get, we always get a pack and slip. I love this from Warlord, you get a pack and slip so I can see this was, we rather pack this. Um, you get a set of cards, we'll have a look at them in a moment. A set of dice. Um, unusually, a lot of plastic. Uh, playing pieces, counters. Normally they do these in card, but they've done them in plastic, which is a nice touch. Um, you get look at that artwork. That was my favourite bit of artwork. I can't remember that. I think I had the T-shirt with that. Um, so you get this is the sort of scenarios. I think you get three scenarios to start with in the starter set. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Um, I've not had a great look through. The instruction books because like I say I mainly buy these games for the uh, the playing pieces but I do like to see how they work. Um, you get which I'm never gonna be able to get out with one hand oh yeah you get cardboard playing pieces so you get I get what was the god's name in this crumb crack something like that I must probably mispronouncing it. Oh there he is yeah crumb probably pronounced something completely different uh, you get terrain tokens, various different stuff, they're double-sided. Um, and then you get, which is the heaviest bit in it, you get the big old gaming book. We'll have a look at that in a second. My desk is too small. And then you also get the scenery, which, we're, again, we'll open that to have a look. But let's clear this up and we'll come and have a look at some of the stuff in detail. So, gaming book-wise, that's very, very lavish. Some absolutely wonderful illustrations. Uh, basically, it also tells you all the the cards, etc. Um, different figures you can get. Glenn Faber's artwork, which is amazing. 
You're such a good artist. Um, ancient description of a Celtic woman. Fair enough. So lots and lots of details. I'm gonna have a good look through this. I'm presuming it's a um like a uh, war game style tabletop game. Very, very lavish. I do like Warlords books like this. Remember when they used to come hard back? That's all. There we go. So, you've got the, the book there. You've got Celtic huts and fence systems. So, you get a sheet of laser cut card and a sheet of laser cut uh, MDF and an uh, instruction sheet on how to do it. Oh God, doing all that roofing. Presumably it would have been thatch. Oh yeah, so how to do thatch. So you can do thatch or quick slates. So yeah, nice to get some scenery. You don't generally get a lot of scenery in these style of games, but it's nice to see some. So let's have a look at some of the figures. So. Uh, you've got the the weird stone, which has got some great detail on it of like skeleton, animal skeletons, different carvings for all the runes. So good quality resin. Um, figure wise, let's have a look. What have we got? So you get uh, three berserker warriors. Again. Great detail. I mean, can you see there? I don't know if you can get in there. You can see the detail on the sword. I think I'm going to use the Army Builder quick paints on these um, because I think the detail on it will take them really well. So you get, yeah, they've got nobles on, so they won't stand up. But you get one berserker, two berserkers, three berserkers. Very similar helmets, but all in completely different poses, and again, very nice detail. The shields are wonderful, they paint up really well. You get uh, some sort of druidy fella, um, he's got a very long beard, covered in animal furs. He's off to do some horrible sacrifice, no doubt. You get uh, a kneeling down priest, is it the same guy? No, he hasn't got. He's got a horned helmet on, but again, he's got a dodgy beard. I think he can, he goes with the rune stone. Like that. It's absolutely chucking it down the room. You can probably hear the rain. So we get. I think they called her Nest. I don't remember Nest. I remember he used to go around with a Celtic warrior woman, but she seems a bit neatly dressed for that character. But she's nice. Got to carry in a flaming torch. The, these individual figures are made out of that sort of soft resin that Warlords use, which is quite it's quite good stuff. It takes paint really well. Uh, you get I go the dwarf. He was a great character. He always had sort of comedy psychic characters, but he was just horrible and obnoxious. Um, you also get uh, Slain's arm and axe. Then you get normal slain. Good detail again. So obviously the axe arms goes on. And then you get the biggest piece is the warp spasm slain. As you can see, he just he basically things out um, and becomes an unstoppable warrior. Always my favourite parts of the comic. It was like, what were the artists draw? You are, you get stands for them, so you get two sets of the standard stands, but you also get one larger stand, I'm not sure what that's for, because unless it's for warp spasm fella, because he's bigger, would make sense. Um, and like I said, you get uh, tokens, I don't know whether these are just for the slain game, or whether they were using Dread, Judge Dredd, because they're, they're generic 2000 AD, you got different stuff that obviously don't, doesn't, uh, look particularly Celtic um, so I think they must be just standard 2000 AD tokens um, the dice 
have shields, 2000E. So again, that looks like Justice Department, doesn't it? So I think they're from Judge Dredd, they've used. Card-wise, let's have a look at some of the cards. Let's just open them up. Should have opened it before. Bear with me. So card-wise, so you get a card for uh, Slain McGroth, Shlawney McGroth. He's a vagabond adventurer, time champion. Time champion? Uh, so you get a card for each person. Ah, there's Nest. Let's see what it says about Nest. Nest met Slain when she was hired when she hired him and Akko to work on her dragon farm. I vaguely remember that one. Yeah. She was quite like um a bit more advanced than a lot of the characters that appeared in this strip. And then the various So one of those, the the big fella, him, he's Slothrot or Slowthrot if you come from uh, the south of England. Um then you got Different action cards. Resurrect a chosen one. Um, I do like the matte finish on these. Very subdued head harvest. Oh, horrible stuff. Um, and then you've got... Looks like um, fighting cards. Different things you can use to change your chances of winning. Um, defense cards, by the look of it. And then warp out. So these must be like special, special action cards. So lots and lots of cards. Uh, and as you know, I'm a sucker for a nice card set. So all in all, um, I think I'm going to have fun painting these. I say, uh, if you want to see me paint them, let me know and I'll do a video. I'm probably going to use Army Painter um, speed paints for most of it because there's loads of lovely detail I think it'll come out well on the, the flesh tones etc but yeah let me know if you've got the game have you played it is it good um, <coughs> I keep I pick these up when I see them cheap um, because uh, they're quite expensive to, you know sort of brand new but if I see them cheap I'd like to get the uh, strontium dog one I've got the separate figure set which I still have never got around to making up so again if you want to see me make that up let me know um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can. We've got a Patreon page now, so please visit there if you want to help out the channel financially. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.